Hey everybody, welcome back to Workman's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Uh, today's review I'd like to do is Johnny Walker Blue. And uh, guys, this is a little more, a lot more expensive than what I usually review on here. Um, I was actually fortunate. Uh, my uncle invited me over for a cigar and uh, some scotch here. Um, uncle Oli, and uh, yeah, this is a very special uh, occasion, very special stuff. Um, to usually find this stuff, uh, shoot, probably at the very least uh, mid hundreds, 150, uh, all the way up to you know, 220 bucks, 230 bucks. So, uh, pretty expensive stuff. Uh, very, very good stuff. Um, Johnny Walker's probably the uh, most well known, uh, most popular uh, blended whiskey blended scotch whiskey there is uh, in the world and uh, you know we've reviewed the uh, the red I'd like to do the black at some point uh, the blue as I said very special occasion um, you know uh, not gonna probably get an opportunity to do one this is quite this expensive um, you know again you know with uh, what we usually review because um, you can find great whiskeys guys and uh, you know in the $30 range, $20, even $15 range. And uh, anyway, this is, uh, this is by Diageo. Uh, Johnny Walker's been around a long time, 1820. Um, several varieties. And uh, let's see, it's 40% uh, uh, ABV, 80 proof. Um, and uh, it just says... Johnny Walker Blue Label, blended scotch whiskey, distilled, blended, and bottled in Scotland. Uh, John Walker and Sons Limited, a blend of our rarest whiskey. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway, guys, this is uh, very, very good. Um, known, they have a, a Johnny Walker Platinum, too, uh, as well. Uh, this one, probably a little bit better, but uh, that's my own opinion. Anyway, I'm not sure what the age is on this. Um, uh, I venture to say it's you know a mix of uh, some well-aged whiskeys. Uh, look at the color there. Um, it's a yeah, it's a lighter color, a uh, nice Scotch color though. Um, you know different grains, uh, not so much uh, barrel char and all that. So um, you know your typical kind of uh, light color for a Scotch. So uh, let's give it a smell. <clears throat> and on the nose, you get a lot of uh, a lot of that malt, some uh, some light uh, fruity and floral notes as well. Almost uh, kind of a rosy type uh, smell to it. A little bit of leather, a little bit of wood, but not too much, and just uh, very little burn on the nose. It's a uh, very nice. Uh, very nice nose on this one. Let's take a taste. And it's got that Johnny Walker taste to it as far as the kind of earthy, like leathery type, uh, type notes. Um, but uh, so smooth. Um, those floral aromas and, and uh, kind of light fruit flavors come out. Um, it just, it's a, a, just a very elegant uh, whiskey, you know, very elegant taste. Um, I'm a big fan of the, uh, uh, the red and the black. The black is probably my go-to as far as Johnny Walker. Reasonable price, about 30 bucks. Um, and just uh, very good to drink straight or to mix. Um, this one, I'm not mixing with anything, uh, and I don't suggest you do either. Um, just very, very good stuff. If you guys, you know, I'll, this is the working man's whiskey, but this is more here, I'd say this is more of a retirement whiskey. Uh, something to stash away for, a, uh, you know, for a nice celebration. You know, uh, we got, uh, this, this was uh, 4th of July weekend. Uh, Today's the third, tomorrow's the fourth, so happy fourth, everybody. Uh, 
you got something special to, to toast with, suggest you, uh, you know, maybe try this out if you can. If not, then, uh, you know, whatever you have. Um, hope you all have a great holiday, safe holiday, and uh, God bless America. And uh, until next time, cheers.